Hey there tubers, Jason the Dead Card Gamer back here with another unboxing video. Today we have a full uh, booster box of Tempest of the Gods. This is a great game that I really really enjoyed. You may know that from if you watch the unboxing of uh, the starter deck that I did. I've done a little rules review since then so kind of got some other stuff to talk about. When light and darkness clash, only chaos stands to profit. And we've got the three, um, oop, on the tripod there a little, uh, got the three symbols here for the three different alignments, uh, pantheons, I believe they call them. Let's see if we can get into this thing. Um, I'm really excited about that. This, uh, this is a kind of a weirdly packaged game in that, um, each of the, the packs actually has two rares. So, double rares in every pack. I have actually seen a report one time. Uh, one of the websites I use for a lot of old game checklists. Um, ooh, I'm going to mess this up. I think Jeff Allender was the guy's name. Jeff Allender's House of Checklists or something to that effect. He talks about uh, a box he got one time that actually didn't have any rares in it. He was lucky enough to get that. Uh, no rares at all, just... Uh, four uncommons in every pack, so kind of awesome. Yeah, except not. Let's see here, what we got on the packaging? We got catchphrase again, and just some copyright material. Contains 15 cards. I believe it is nine, nine commons uh, up front, uh, then four uncommons, and then two. Uh, two rares in the back of the pack. So I guess I misspoke earlier. He must have gotten six uncommons per pack and no rares. So anyway, here's our first pack. We got Legions of Doom, the Miracle, uh, Master Archer, Masul, the Prince of, Princess of Zul. Ugh. We found his uh, his dad, Necros, in the uh, in the starter deck that we opened. So there's some commons. Cloud Spirit, Fortuna is a deity. Fetish Shaman, I remember using Fetish Shamans in my deck way back when. Uh, Father of Shadows, Farmer, and then here's our rares. We got a Closed Portal spell. Counters any attempt to teleport, to use a portal, or to use the Warp Staff. Can also be cast directly on the Stairway of the Eternities to remove that card from play. Discard spell. So that's it seems really specific. A lot of other specific cards that it targets there. Prayer of Voyance is a spell. Uh, and spells, uh, I found out, can only be cast by c cards. I guess they're usually, or maybe only, priests, deities, uh, that have the, the spell caster uh, special ability. So, kind of hard to use these even, too. Point to one card in an opponent's hand, or that is face down in play. Opponent must show you that card. You can use this spell one time during your turn. Card, re card remains in play until removed. All right. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Kind of got the tripod in between my hands here, so I might bump it every once in a while. I apologize for that. Highly unprofessional. Right. Got to crack those cards apart a little bit, because they're a little bit sticky on this game. All right, Mesolist the, Sh the Destroyer, a common deity. Millennium, Mage Master, Lurker of the Deep, the Lost T Temple of Baharat, it's a nice little temple. What's five there? Uh, the Lost King is a champion. Chaos Runes, another miracle there. Cemetery, Caravan. All right, and then Grand Inquisitor is going to be an uncommon. Start our uncommons there with Golden Lake, Garrison, Frontiersman. Here comes our rares. Spell, another spell, Freeze Blast. And uh, for every two strength and faith when applicable, Drained. This spell does one point of damage to any one card in the wander area or battleground except for a temple. Seems kind of cool. Uh, and then we've got a bull elk guardian who can take a rider. Yeah, so in this game there is there's actually the, the area where the creatures uh, all do battle is actually a separate game zone from the the wander area, they call it, kind of where you're, you're staging, where you kind of keep all your followers while you're working them up to summon in something cool. Got some commons here. I don't think we'll read all those, otherwise we'll be here all day. 
Herb Garden, Healers, Harbinger Angel. All right, so we got God on the Red is a rare, and the Great Umber Bear. I believe those are the same rares we got from our, uh, from our starter deck we opened. Not that I know how many rares were in there. We'll figure it out later, though. We got Blood Altar, Blasphemy, Druna, the Protector, the Demigod. Is she giant or is that just Force Perspective? I don't know. Can't really tell on that one. The Druish King, Devourer of the Fallen. There's another Bane Blade. There's our common deity again. All right, so we got the Dreen, Dolphin, then our rares are going to be a Disenchantment and Death Mask. She is a, an awesome follower because she's just a follower, so kind of anybody can bring her out. Uh, and then she's got five strength, which is kind of crazy, but she defends its strength too, so more aggressive than anything. Flip through the commons here. Old Grivern again. Here's the Shadow Cat. Here's some uncommons. Then our rares we got Mithra the Huntress, a demigod, and Misdirection, another spell. Looks like spells. I don't know. Maybe I'm not just not paying enough attention, but it seems like spells uh, seem to only be in the rare spot, maybe. Which is interesting. Like I say, they're actually kind of difficult to use in game. You gotta have a card that is is a spellcaster. There's also a kind of neat mechanic where you can actually put spells face down underneath a spellcaster. Ooh, the Celestial Palace. This was definitely one that I used uh, back when I played my my good deck because we got a good aligned temple, uh, strength 10, and holds an unlimited number of cards. Like you can put as many people in here as you want. You can summon the biggest stuff you can, and it's flying, so it's got that evasion. Ah, yeah, love that one. Glad I got one of those again. Uh, let's see here. Skeleton Legion, Skin the Vile. And our rares, a peasant is a rare, really? And Passage is a miracle. I feel like, uh, man, I don't know about all that. Peasants are rare. This may may not be uh, the cards in the orders I thought they were in, or at least read they were in online. I don't have a checklist in front of me, unfortunately. I can't double check anything, but. We'll keep uh keep going like we know what we're doing. All right, we got the Krill Vortex. It's a new one. Living Lightning. I love the art on that one. I always have. Yeah, there's old Necros, the Lord of Zune. We saw his son, the Prince, earlier. Hmm. The Stewards of Thale and Powers on High. Yeah, I feel like maybe the rares are more toward the middle of the pack, like our deity here. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna stop pulling out the rares. I just feel like that is not the right spot for them. But anyway, deities are the main thing that I'm wanting to wanting to get out of this because I know there was quite a few of them that I was missing from my collection uh, way back when. Messalus the Destroyer, that's a cool one. King Erland was an awesome deity. I know he, I had him in my good deck. Yeah, all good cards. Gain plus one strength. Uh, all of your good champions regenerate to your water area at the beginning of your next turn, undrained if they are slain. Holy moly. I mean, come on. You can't beat that. All your big creatures just coming back to life automatically. And yeah, that, that's that got to be the rare, right? Oh, the war gate was a cool temple as well. City of the Dead, that was a cool temple. Charming, Cherry of Horn. Oh, check out the art on Meld. That's awesome. Some weird fractalization there. The Meldorian Pirates. That guy works out. There's a Battering Ram. We got Banish. The Herb Garden. Healers. Harbinger Eagle. There's God in the Red again. And the Great Umber Bear. Is this an exact duplicate of the pack we had earlier? I know those were the last two cards. 
And that was a game, another thing that I remember from this game is kind of had weird runs of cards that would just duplicate um, and like literally sometimes pull the exact same pack two times. Get all the trash out of the way here. Alright, the War Wheel. Sothis the Traveler. That's uh, some funky art there. I like it. Ring in the Valiant. The Ring of Water Walking. So yeah, just uh, the same kind of evasion as, you know, uh, flying or whatever. If, if you're familiar with magic, uh, you know, water cards had to be blocked by other water cards and that relic just gives something a water card. The water card card ability. Easy for you to say. And here we go again. And that is, uh, man, that, that is definitely the same uh, uncommon and rare slots. But so maybe, um, maybe these cards, maybe those are the rare slots in the back. I don't know. So that is definitely the last, last six cards were exactly the same between two of those packs there. Shapeshifter, that's a cool guardian. Seven Seals of Doom, that's a cool one. Haven't seen that one yet. Twin Towers, Thanter Candis, Teleport, Swarm Skyline, there's a Bane Blade, there's another Avatar, the Arcanum Brotherhood. Arcanum Brotherhood, by the way, not a priest somehow. Alms Priest, obviously he is a priest. There's Tarine, the Dolphin. Then a disenchantment and death mask. I know that's a combo we saw earlier as well. I don't think we've seen a death mask without a disenchantment so far. At least not in the booster box. Alright. Then we got secret combinations and sand of ages. I feel like maybe the rares are right up front. Because that seems to be where we have the most uh most variety, although actually this looks like a lot of cards we haven't seen before. Got some monkeys there playing with an axe, that's always a good idea. Rose Petal Brotherhood, Shorilla Brig, Mithra, Misdirection. Right. Witching Season. Miracle with some awesome art there. Uh, Mithander the Thunder Tongue, a demigod, some not so awesome art there. Kind of looks like a pencil sketch with three colors. That's just, yeah, that's not good. Uh, Sacred Earth, the Rose Ossuary. I remember using that one in the old good deck. War Tower, a War Galley. Father of Shadows, it's cool art. Kind of a Skeleton uh, Jester guy there. Chaos Runes. Is that actually some CGI effect there? Fancy. Fancy stuff. Alright. Witching Moon Miracle and a Witchfire Spell. Sewell, there's the, the old prince again. Hearns of Gold, Martyr Massacre. Kind of neat art there. The Garrison. So, super solid follower. 2-2 two, two for 2. Adds plus 2 strength to the temple strength when occupying that temple. They actually fortify. That's pretty awesome. Wildlands. Wildlands are a guardian somehow. Is that living land? I don't know. Stormwatch is a temple. Mage Master, Lurk of the Deep there. He's, he actually is kind of a nice looking sea serpent. He's got kind eyes. Uh, let's see the Lost Temple. Lost King. And Herb Garden Healers. There's that run again, but then we've got Bane Blade and Avatar behind it. So yeah, I, I, I really feel like these top two cards must be the rares. It makes just so much more sense to me. Let's 
just assume that going forward maybe, huh? So we've got Storm Season and Stones of Drachma. And we got Elgith the Great Boon. Oh, cool. It's a champion wolf. I like that. Some Reverse Gravity. His Ghoul the Mad. Jax, Lord of Ghouls. That guy's awesome looking. Armor Golem. Got some more commons here. There we go. Kind of a bummer though that the rares are right there on top. I like I like having that suspense, you know? Open the pack, you can't see what your rare is until you get all the way through the rest of the cards. But no, here, my, yep, there it is. You get a stairway. And you knew him. Oh, that was a cool deity. Ah, look at that. Good deity. Strength and faith are equal to all your good cards in play. Holy moly, this guy could be just gigantic. Especially summon him out of that sky palace. Ah, 20 to summon, but just, yeah. So yeah, definitely, definitely the front ones are the rares, by the way. Uh, yeah, Carthen on the Builder. Another awesome good temple, because he can actually move. Move from uh, you know your wander zone to your battle zone, whatever. Uh, yeah, living temple, gotta love that. The burrow worms, always love that art. It's just super creepy. I don't know the teeth on that one just get me even to this day. Really big. Mind shield and another gargoyle. Well, kind of bummed I didn't keep the uh, the rare separate. I'd like to give you a good display of those at the end of the video but maybe I'll do a uh, I've been thinking about doing some like box breakdown videos saying uh, let's see well let's check these real quick false prophets and divination summon any card from your discard pile in your hand yep good stuff like it there um, so yeah I was thinking about doing some uh, box breakdown videos um, you know kind of go through Go through each of the boxes that I open and give you a, you know, this is the percentage of the rares that I got. This is the percentage of the uncommons, the common. Um, on average, I got this many copies of each common, that kind of thing. Uh, if you find that interesting, think that would be a cool video, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll get going on those. What do we got here? We got a Helm of War and Harvest Season. Another good miracle. Avenging Angel. Archmage Mythian, Allies Blessing, Eborn, Mistress Knight. That's another card art that I always loved. Some really cool stuff there. And then we got our good run of uh, commons here again. All right. Sorry, I gotta readjust my chair here a little bit. It's getting uncomfortable. All right. And yeah, we'll probably start just looking at the first like four or five cards here, skipping over those commons. I'll speed this along a little bit. Uh, Book of Black Magic, an evil relic, and the Blood Altar, another evil relic, double, double evil relic there for the rares. Pretty sweet. Domination, a rare spell, and the Diviner's Mask, a relic that's uh, unaligned. Card carrying this relic becomes a champion, doubling its strength and faith. This card can only be summoned by a follower. That's amazing. That's a super cool card, and definitely should be a rare Wyvern Thum. And ooh, the Shadow Slayer. That's a awesome, awesome card art. I really like those bright neonish colors there. And then we got our commons. And let's see what we got here. Blasphemy and the Black Orcon. There's old Carthon Builder again. And the Burrow Worms, still creeping me out after all these years. The Destroying Angel is a miracle. Some sweet card art. All follower priest, champion, and guardian cards in the battleground are destroyed. Discard. Just wipe the board. That sounds awesome. And there's despair. Poison touch. It's kind of neat art. I like that one. 
Dark Creation is a Guardian for evil. And then the Pillar of Eyes must be summoned to and remain in a temple. Uh, drain to destroy any card, strength 5 or less, which enters the temple, or discard to destroy any card which enters the temple. It's like a security system for your temple. There's the Minak Orb. Usher, a Guardian of Time, is a demigod. You got a cool chair. Kind of reminds me of that. If you're familiar with comic books and for Jack Corby. Kirby's Fourth World. Um, it looks like Metron there a little bit. You got the floating chair. Kind of the master of time. Let's see here. Nightfall is a miracle. The Kirin Runes is another miracle. Southton Abbey. We've seen uh, some priests or, I don't know, uh, somebody from Southton Abbey before here in the comments. Let's see if they're in this pack. No, nope, figures. Healers? Healers of South Cincinnati. I think that's what it is. Uh, Erlen's Tomb. Erlen, I believe, is one of the, uh, the elf champions. Uh, entombment there. Some Blood Covenant. A Familiar. Exodus. The Mokinth Charm, uh, Iron Slugs, there's Ring in the Valiant, giving us some blue steel action there. Ring Water Walking, Ring Linking. Right. Getting down to the end here, hopefully snag a couple more days. Oh, I got that big, uh, I can't remember the name already, but the big glowing hand that's the the giant good day. I'm pretty happy with that one. Comet of Fates. This is what the uh, the beggar is immune to. All opponents' cards in play are drained and remain drained at the beginning of their next turn. Uh, this card must be played during your turn. It cannot be played as a counter. Discard Miracle. So yeah, it just locks you down for two turns except for your beggars and maybe there's some way to give them extra faith or something make them a little more useful. Chimeran. Champion there. The difference between Guardians and Champions, by the way, I don't know if I already said this, I may have, it's been 20 minutes, I've kind of lost track of things, but a uh, Champion is kind of a little better than a Guardian, uh, and has more faith, is the main thing, so they can help you summon bigger stuff, there's a Changeling, there's the other, another one of the Flying Celestial Palace there, got a couple of those now, that's nice, summon my glowing hand out of. Because, yeah, I'm totally going to put together a good deck again. Probably try, try and uh, get a couple different decks put together. Maybe try and get some of my buddies to play this one with me. Because uh, I know a lot of them also have their own cards. Uh, the Candle of the Allfathers and another Krill Vortex there. There's a Rose Ossuary again. Yeah, uh, so I, I know several people that have their own collections of these cards from back when we, uh, when we all played... Oh, I guess 20 years ago now, probably. So, here's another. Uh, he's just a demigod. I thought he was a deity. The Knights of Three. Remember that card art from back in the day? That's good stuff. Enigma, there's another card art that I always dug. Just massively, you know, unrealistic proportions to that dude's muscles. But, you know, whatever. It's fun. And then our last few packs here. Uh, the Drums of Doom and a Bitter Frost. Avenging Angel, another awesome card art. Ah, uh, yeah, and I have, or Mistress Knight. Always dug the art on her, too. Uh, Besha, the Kissing Goddess. I, I mean, I guess that's. Is she just a goddess who kisses? Is she the goddess of kissing? I don't know. Basilisk. The 
little Shadow Slayer there with his neon goodness. Would you even want to be the goddess of kissing? Ugh, that sounds, sounds like a tour to me. Let's see here. We got Apocalypse Miracle. That sounds good. All non-chaotic temples, deities, demigods, and guardians are removed from play. That sounds amazing. A bowl. There's another deity. With some interesting card art. There's not a whole lot to it. Is, is the deity the mob? Is the deity the fire? I guess there's kind of a face in the fire there. Maybe they're worshipping the fire. Hmm. Interesting. We've got Shadow Giant, Poison Touch. Some other stuff there. And here's our penultimate pack. Maze of the Misguided, a Demigod, and a Warp Staff. There's a Mob Leader, and I believe, yeah, can join. He's kind of like a semi priest there. Can join up with other followers, but can't summon anything too big. There's a priest, can summon pretty much anything. So here it is, folks. Here's our last pack. We've got. The Boar King of Thrang Thrangmar is a champion and a thief. Southern Abbey, Soul Stealer, Sleep, River of Fire, and then quite a few commons there. Well, that's it, guys. We got, went through the entire box. Uh, like I said, I think uh, I'm gonna probably get these sorted here later this evening, and um, maybe I'll maybe I will do one of those uh, kind of box breakdown videos I was talking about. Go through all these. All these wonderful cards, sort them out, figure out what's uh, what's my commons, uncommons, rares, kind of what numbers I've got of everything. Uh, if you like these unboxing videos, please give me a like. Uh, share my videos on uh, your social media. Show your friends all the old dead card games that you remember from back when you were young. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out, guys. Have a good one.